welcome back to my shop today we're going to fix something I bought on eBay it didn't work when I got it uh, and it's well it's one of these little uh, devices for measuring antennas it, uh, it'll give you all of the factors you need to know about your antenna including um, SWR and J factor and resistance and all that kind of stuff. Very helpful if you're trying to tune up something that you don't know, like like whether an antenna is working or not. When I turn it on, when I got it, this is the way it was. When I turn it on, I get probably can't see that. It beeps and it says error VF level. Press any key. Well, I looked it up online and uh, it says that. Presumably, there's something wrong with the oscillator, uh, and that it's not putting out the right frequencies or whatever it needs to needs to put out. And I guess we'll find out. So let's take it apart. It's actually kind of a nice little box. It's very heavy. It's well built. Uh, it doesn't doesn't really feel cheap. Um, it's got some heft to it. It has a battery compartment on the back, um, which is, I don't know, I guess it's just the case it comes in, uh, but the battery compartment is that, just a big empty hole to put a 12 volt battery into, um, and I guess it would work, find a 12 volt battery that size. I don't know. All right, well, let's see. It's simple to operate. It only has a few, few buttons on it. It, uh, I did try it, by the way, and it does, in, in fact, not work. It's very flaky. It's, it doesn't, uh, doesn't measure things, and if it does measure things, it's never the same twice. So. We'll see. Uh, all right, we got her open. Ooh, nicely built. Looks like a pretty good job. Uh, the uh, the insides are are okay. Mm. This is a Sark 100 SWR analyzer, is what this thing is, and basically, it has a generator say generator down here by the crystal so it has a generator down here that generates a signal uh, and it transfers it up to according to the schematic I did look there's a RF amplifier chip here um, and the RF amplifier sends it out the antenna and what it does is if you put it on a uh, oh, and this thing up here, this little chip up here, that makes a bridge um, for measuring the uh, what's coming back from the antenna as well as what's going out. This one doesn't have the big giant chip in here to control the display. It's got this little little chip. And uh, what what are these things on here? Let's see. We have in here. A. Let me turn this the right way so I can correctly see what I'm doing. Uh, let's see, what is this? Well, let's see, for the generator, we have an AB9851 for the amplifier a little amplifier chip on it we've got a uh, boy kind of hard to hard to do there well I already looked it up it's an 88,008 uh, which is a 625 megahertz um, 
op amp. So, pretty broadband op amp. Very hard to read. And this one over here is a come on. Wow. We'll get there. TLC 279C quad op amp. Okay. That's basically all it's in here, plus the this programmed uh, micro here, which is a wow. Twenty-four. No, it's a CY eight. C29466 and that's the program part of it that works the display so those are the parts that are in here and a bunch of other little things uh, it doesn't like I said it works pretty well feels feels good and it should work pretty well it does have a USB output here that you can hook it up to your computer um, and have some uh, outputs some uh, graphing on your computer to to see the sweep of the antenna. So I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's see what it does. I have a feeling I already know. So, but we'll find out. Uh, get a scope and see what we've got here. Go around. And on. So I uh, looked it up, and let's see. Out of this pin, uh, according to the schematic, uh, I've got to go to one section of L1, which is right here, and one side of L1 has a very nice, clean signal. Wow, that's good. That's good, because that means that it's actually putting out <laughs> putting out a frequency, which is marvelous. Not real pleased with the uh, power switch on it. Let's see, the other side of L1 looks good. L2 goes into L2, comes out of L2, goes into a resistor, comes out of the resistor, goes into this dual op amp is every like every other dual op amp out there pretty much all of them uh, it would be pins uh, two and three are the inputs in this case I've got going in two coming out and coming out one ooh yeah I had to turn the scope way up oh yeah coming out one definite gain then it goes let's see it goes out the next one would be five six and six Seven, so it goes into pin five. Uh, a little bit going in there, there, but across that resistor, got a good signal going out and out pin seven. We got nothing, or almost nothing. Got the same thing going out as they're going in is coming out on both of the op amp pins. Well, I'd say that, that sort of solves the is good good guess there the voltages are right I already uh, well yeah you really should check your voltages first so let's see wrong button check the voltages ground Okay, the voltages on this I see are pin 7 is VCC. Or pin 8, I mean, is VCC. And that is 9.4 volts, and pin 4 is ground. So that is correct. And so my voltages are okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Yes. Hmm. 
And I could have told you that basically the voltages are okay because the screen lights up. If there weren't any voltages going to that chip, no, it wouldn't light up. And if they were wrong, it wouldn't work either. So, 88,008. Have to order one. To be continued. Okay, well, today is a few days later and I got the part in. Here it is. Little bitty chip. Uh, for the 88,008, for this little Sark, uh, Sark 100 uh, SWR analyzer. And we're going to see if indeed it is that. So, I'm going to take the um, the chip off of here. So we'll take the chip off and and replace it. I'd be willing to bet it's real close. That that's probably the problem. Well, let's see. Let's give it a little squirt of. flux and get the old heat pump up here up good till things start to move without burning holes in the board hmm wow it's on there doesn't want to move. Okay. A little more air. See if that'll help. Oop, there it goes. So the solder's starting to give up. There's one side. And there's the other side. Okay. Well. Oh. Yep, broke a leg off. I'm always doing that. Well, I'm pretty darn sure that <laughs> this is it anyway. At least this is a pretty good sized chip. It's not a little T-Nancy thing. Much easier to work with. Gate glasses. Alright. Oh, the pads look good. Look good. Okay. Alrighty. So, get my little chip. It is an analog devices, and it is definitely an 8008. All right, well, should be. I got it from DigiKey. All right, got to put on the other specs. Graduated bifocals do not work well with. magnifying glasses like these wow you just can't keep things in focus 
focus. All right. Here we go. Put you back. Line you up good. Tell you. Half the deal with these little guys is actually getting them on the pads. But right, got it. All right. This one's big enough. I'm just going to hand solder this rather than try to do it with the blower. Uh, I think it'll work fine. Big enough. That's a joke. Oh, there's tack one. Okay. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's five. Six. Seven. Eight. Alright. Let's take a look and see if that's clean enough. Turn the light up a little bit. See if I got it. I think so. Felt good. Side looks good. And that side looks good. Okay. Well, now is the time to see what happens. Crush fingers. <laughs> One last check. Make sure nothing blew off the board or got unsoldered or went the wrong way or Everything's good. We're off. Turn it on. Please. Yahoo! It works. All right. No beep. And it comes up and says SWR and everything. All right. That's nice. So. We have affected repairs. It was an 88,008 op amp that uh, they just take these off because boy, they make me even look geekier than normal. Uh, 88,008 650 meg op amp that was bad on the uh, on the output side. Amazing. Well, didn't waste 80 bucks. It works very good. That's nice. So. We'll check it out and maybe I'll make a video and see how it actually does work. We'll, we'll try that. So, thanks for joining me. And uh, remember, things aren't always broke beyond repair. There are things, there's things you can do to them if you, uh, if you got the right tools and a little bit of know-how. That was simple. All we had to do was trace it out, find out where it quit. That was it. It's all done. Okay. Thanks. Don't forget to... Uh, Press that like button and uh, and sign up. All right. See you later.